President, I would like to thank the Special Representative of the Secretary General and the Special Rapporteur for their reports and bring to their attention the precarious situation of the Iraqi children. The destruction caused by the invasion and occupation of Iraq has increased violence against children. There are five million Iraqi orphans, many live on streets without family, all subjected to violence. There has been a 30% drug addiction increase among children to ease the pain and sufferings inflicted by the occupation. Other violence issues to be studied by the UN, a case of about 800 girls under the age of 18 disappeared in the first seven years after the war. Up to 65% among the prostituted females are minors. Some are victims of torture in case of gang rape. Children of prostitutes are sold or raped by pedophile customers. The highest demand is for girls as young as 11. They have been trafficked into neighboring countries. In some cases, girls request to remain in detention centers, fearful that their families will kill them. Exposure to violence on a daily basis has affected their psychological development and behavior. Landmines and explosive remnants of war, with many victims being children under the age of 14. Since the conflict, hundreds of children have been detained. They were placed in juvenile detention centers, where they are exposed to another level of violence. It is important for the special representative to note that attacks on educational institutions by the army and affiliated militias to intimidate, frighten, kidnap, arrest and kill students occur on a regular basis. As a consequence, school attendance has decreased dramatically. School buildings are often used for military purposes. Iraq's educated and professional class fled following the assassination of colleagues as part of a targeted campaign, with devastating effect on the children's development and well-being. The international community and international human rights bodies should not ignore the situation resulting from the invasion and occupation of Iraq. We ask the Council to discuss the whole situation of human rights of Iraq and appoint a special rapporteur to the country. Finally, we expressed our concerns about the Iraqi children in three written statements already published for this session under number 142, 143, 147, and they are among the documents of today's meeting. Thank